Hello, everybody. I hope you can hear me. Carl, just a second here. Et voilà. So, uh, so welcome today uh, to our SAP Business One Coffee Break. Uh, Carl's going to be showing us mobility with SAP Business One. There's three different options. So for Hannah, and uh, there's one as well that works for SQL. So he's going to show us the different uh, options. One's a free app, and the other two that are uh, uh, mobile apps that are purchasable. So hang on a second here, Carl. I'm just going to make you the presenter. There you go. I can't hear you, Carl. No, I'm not talking. Okay, <laughs> okay thanks. I, I, sorry, I'm waiting for the screen to, it, to view what people are seeing, and I'm not seeing anybody. Hold I thought on. it was a technical I, issue. Yes. There you go. Okay. So, thank you, everybody, for showing up. Uh, so I won't have to do this uh, demo alone. Uh, just a joke. Um, so. Today, I'll be looking into what the mobility is for um, with SAP Business One. Uh, there's a few options. There's a full SAP Business One mobile app that is a complement of your existing pro and limited licensing, uh, mostly uh, CRM. And this one comes, it's free. It comes available for um, iOS, Apple, iPhones and also for the iPads, you can have it available from version 8.8 .8 of SQL or even nine and higher. And also anybody that has SAP uh, Business One for HANA has this version available for themselves also. So I'm gonna go into the app, into the iPad, just because that uh, application has a bigger screen, obviously. And having a bigger screen offers you a little bit more than using your phone for this app. So again, this is the app that complements SAP Business One existing pro users and limited users. People will only see what they are allowed to see in SAP Business One. And uh, the same security and everything applies back together here. Now with the SAP Business One HANA version, we have dashboards, uh, KPIs, um, uh, counters, things like that, that are available out of the box and that you can see in your dashboard when you open up SAP Business One. Um, needless to say, this is what you're seeing right now. People using SQL are not familiarized yet with this version, unless you've seen a few demos for Anna. Uh, so this is what you're seeing right now. You're seeing uh, my preferred dashboard, this is what I want to work when I wake up and start my job in the morning. I want to see where I'm at with my, my stock value, for example. I want to see how many sales orders have not been delivered that are actually late. So this way I can take action right away. Um, so this iPad version offers me this dashboard. You will see here on the left a kind of menu. They're not modules, they're specific functionalities where you have sales functionalities, you have activities and other things. There's nothing about purchasing in here. So anybody that needs to do purchasing action or inventory transaction, things like that, this is not an app for them. It really just complements the CRM mostly and pro license for specific transaction. One of the main need uh, that this application fills out for people using SAP Business One is the existing activity list. So I can browse, oh, I'm sorry, sometimes the system no. needs to be refreshed. I can browse the list of my activities that I've been using in SAP oh. Business One. I can view those uh, specific activities and, uh, okay. and I can work with the system here, open up creating activities, tasks, things like that, assigning them to people. And I can easily move through the field and um, see different information, as you can see. Uh, and I'm just moving in, move my week, see different days. I can even email myself, um, add a new activity, things like that, sync it to my Outlook calendar if you're not already using that functionality. Um, another great way to use the phone and iPad is for the approvals and the alerts. So if you're already using these functionalities with SAP, you know it's they're important for you. 
you need to have SAP Business One open on your desktop. Now, sometimes as a manager who approves or watches the alerts, you're in conferences, you're in meetings, you're traveling, you're going different place. You need to have this at the tip of your finger, which is your phone. Uh, these are available on the phone and the iPad uh, functionalities and available for you to work here. Some of the things that you would see are uh, your, your, the list of your customers, your, your vendors. So if you need to search information about them, they're all available right here. You can even view your inventory. Okay, so I say, okay, what about my printer labels? Okay, here are my best customers here down. Okay, uh, my sales amount and the number of quantities by my five customers. Great, so what are the prices that I offer my customers? Oh, okay, here are the price. Uh, but do I have enough in stock in, uh, in my warehouse in Vancouver? No, I don't have anything. Everything is stuck here in Montreal. So, you know, I can see the available quantities, how much I have in stock, and how much are in order, how many are in POs, things like that. Really uh, easy and simple to use and flow through. Now, you can view the inventory in this way with the quantities. You can also view the price list in a different view where you go buy different price lists and see all your pricing here, okay? So both views are available for you. Now, the other side of this application, other than looking at your activities and things like that, would be the sales side to enhance somebody having access to SAP would be able to open the sales catalog, okay? So let me just go back here. So what we have over here is the sales catalog, which allows me to browse to the list of products when I'm actually uh, going through with uh, one of my customers. If in my business, it's important for the customer to actually view my different products, I'm able to show him the different teddy bears. And he might say, oh yeah, I really like this. Put it on my uh, the catalog and this also. And then I can um, create a quotation or an order out of the box from this app. And I'm able to, um, you know, work on the system with this. I can even look at the specs or the text that would be included in this over here. So you can see the dimension, things like that. So you're really able to start a conversation helping you sell, complement your sales cycle, um, depending on your type of business. Evidently, if I'm selling software, I can do this. Um, but if I'm selling something on site, going site to site with the customers. Now the sales catalog is one thing. We can also view our quotations over here and our sales order. Um, I'm just gonna open up for you to be able to see. So I can basically have customer information, status of my the sales order. I can even attach activities or see the activities that have been taken for this. If there were any attachments done, requests, uh, assigned email received by a customer, then I can look at all the details of each line, if there was anything in there. Um, the logistics, the address where they need that ship to. Um, I can even look at the address here and um, the system is gonna show me a map where we need to deliver accounting side. So basically everything from a sales order, but in a simplified approach, okay? That you can work on the iPad. Um, I can view my deliveries, things like that. If you use a CRM with SAP Business One, it's a great way also here to view um, all your opportunities, the open opportunities, the win, the, lo the lose, um, everything is sitting here and you can track your day-to-day uh, -day information for the opportunities. Um, in the service side, which comes from a limited CRM and a full uh, pro license, you are able to view service contracts with your customers, okay? You can search by serial number, a service contract, or you can even scan. And uh, this is gonna use your system and you're gonna be able to scan a code and it's gonna search for the contract, a service contract. Then you can open an incident or service call based on that. And from the service call, you can assign the service call, create everything in it, assign a customer. Again, it's really based on the needs of your business, not everybody 
as incidents or service calls and repair and service, things like that. But all the information are here. You can even have attachments, things like that also, okay? Um, the latest functionalities are the reports and the dashboard. I can very easily come and view an inventory status, uh, what are the, my group AC available quantities. These are my main sellers and I can view a few things here, okay? I can group them and have an overview for my warehouse of the stock I have. So I decide which of the reports I wanna have over here. Um, I, I can take them out, add new ones, okay? And things like this, okay? I also have the same thing for dashboards. So if I wanna open uh, advanced dashboard for uh, sales and things like that, those who are familiar with SAP Business One, HANA, they will know what we're talking about, building dashboards and advanced dashboards aggregating dashboards together, okay? Uh, I think we have to be a little patient. This is a demo system, so sometimes the advanced dashboard might take a little bit to, to load, but basically here we're supposed to see multiple information for a specific, and then we can filter for sales of a specific product or of a customer and see multiple information that are actual data from um, today and past data so we can compare and do things like that. Um, so this is a sample and I can have multiple page of this uh, advanced dashboard. I can filter and see this by salespeople. I can see this, I can sort by different uh, things like your customer, things like that. So I'm not gonna go deeper in here there's some so uh, let me just get out of here okay so that basically sums up the um, tour of the app on the iPad I'm gonna switch to the phone app So you're gonna see the phone app is it's different in size, obviously. So it's gonna give you different views and different options. So when I log in for the phone app, I see the list of to-dos, okay? Um, this is everything that I've put on my list that need to be taken care of. I did not take care about it, so I can take action, call people and do things, respond by creating a new activity, send it back to someone internally using SAP Business One. I can also have access to a few KPIs, uh, but again, you see this is not the dashboard that I add with my iPad, okay? It's a different view that I have over here. Here are the list of transactions that I showed you previously on the left side. This is the same identical list, and if you go in, you're gonna see the same information you want to see the sales quotation information. So everything is going to be at the tip of your finger. You can have approval, okay? I know I didn't show the approval, quick, so I'll show it quickly here. You can view the details. You can open up each line of information, all the text attachments, everything is available. Then I can just click approve, okay? Right now I can't approve because this is a test system, but um, being available, the system would work exactly if you're in SAP Business One and it's tied in directly uh, with your phone, right? So it's sync. Uh, if I want, I can even have my list of activities uh, for the day in the same format that I had previously over here. And I can do the service calls. Uh, and that's about it, yep. So if, if you have any questions about the SAP Business One generic app, Okay, general, I should call it the, the, the mobility app, basically. Which this is the is free it. down, the, the, which is the free, uh, the, the free app, right? That you can just download. Yeah. yeah, yes. So it is, they're all free. Just to specify, this one is only accessible for users of the limited CRM and or the professional version. Okay, now I'm going to switch to other two other apps. They're also free. They're also accessible with a limited CRM or a professional license, 
But the, the, the small difference that we keep referring to is that you can buy a license, but which is just a mobility license, which means you can, for a salesperson or a technician working to service your customers, you could s purchase a license at a third of a price of a limited, and the, these people would have access to the sell app, not the general app, the sales app. They would not have access to SAP Business One. They would have access to the sales app or the service app, okay? This SAP Business One, uh, I'm gonna start with the sales app, is basically uh, a tool to help your sales people that are on the road that uh, right now they have paper pads or they have catalogs or things like that. You don't want to buy them a full SAP Business One license. You just want to give them a tool so that they can see a list of to-dos, activities, for example. So using a CRM, I can see here are the list of things I need to take action. Uh, maybe there's a phone call, maybe it's a meeting, appointments, task. And there's a small map over here uh point of access if i click on it the system's going to say okay you got to go here and here so uh, it's pretty tight i'm in uh ohio uh, i don't think i'm going to make it to toronto except if i fly right but that's um uh, as a plan and over here i can see monday what's what's my, my monday looks like okay boston and then i'll be oh allentown and then i've got to go back to toronto no, actually, I started in Toronto. So out of the box, syncs your activities, see the salespeople. Again, if you're using SAP Business One and you're a salesperson and you, you like this one compared to the other one just for your sales, you can use it. It's, it's part of the package, okay? I can track my opportunities. What's different here is that you can actually see a pipeline, okay? If you add a list of opportunities that um that were created over here okay so i will create an opportunity for you a demo system i can't so i could easily create here i was ready to just put the opportunity name the partner put a few information then i can put the status to okay i'm at the second meeting stage create the opportunity i'm going to see a pipeline for all my uh, deals over here so you can see here some of my deals that have been won okay and i can see all the stage where i'm at who took what actions at which date so this is a great tool to complement your use of the crm if you don't use the crm the opportunity stage is not for you um, the quotation side again same thing as the other one just with different uh, colors uh, if you add any quotations or sales order that are in approval there's even an approval status section so that you see what is sitting in approval with your manager uh, everything else that is over here is basically a list of kpis and reports just like i showed previously so it's just a different view and it's a limited access to sales capabilities, okay? Uh, that's about it. Uh, that's the extent of it. Um, you can attach documents, you can take pictures and attach those pictures, so on and so forth. Any questions for the Business One Sales app? Now would be a good time to ask your questions. If not, I'm gonna switch to the Business One Service uh, app. Carl, I have one just to yes. make sure. Uh, is there a minimum version, or did it? Maybe you mentioned it, and I missed. Correct. Uh, yes. No. No. I, I I mentioned it for the general one, which is SQL okay. and Anna. Okay. So for SAP Business One Sales. Yep. The minimal version is 9.2 PL1. PL1. Okay. Or, yes. And for service is 9.3 PL4. And these are only available for the HANA version of SAP Business One. The sales and the service is HANA only, but yes. the general one is good for everyone. Yes, okay, from perfect. version 8.8. 8. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. So I'm going to step into the service side or the service app. The, this one was just released at the end of last year, something like that, I think September. 
I really like it. Um, it gives a good view for technicians to go and work at customer site, okay? Um, it doesn't have like advanced scheduling functionalities for, for big firms who have like 200 technicians and, and you know, tickets everywhere. But for some people who have four, five, 10, 15, 20, you know, technician, this would work great. Um, you can just buy them a license and you can manage everything from SAP Business One, manage your schedule, and then just roll it out. And here, here's what I have to do Monday. So I have a printer display error message Monday. I have a lack of toner. This is high priority because this is a good customer. They want us to be always on site. And I've got a USB device that can be connected. So I gotta take care of that before I finish my day. And I've got a map button over here again that I can click and say, okay, so this one was made in Germany. So I'm gonna see one, two, three, where I have to go, one, two, three. And I can click and see, show me where one is and just size in and I can view the ticket number and things like that. I might wanna call, um, sorry, I think I can click on it and call them directly or just open up the incident to view the information. I'm gonna open the next one and see, oh, I have a service contract as you see at the top and it's valid for the next five years. I this is high priority. This is the date that the time they expect me. And I can take most of the information that was there. Uh, if there's remarks, more information. It's very, very easy to see and take things like that. I can do a check-in. Okay, so basically I've arrived at the customer. The system starts to count. And when I leave, I do a checkout. Right now I can't do it because this is a demo system. But if I was able to, the check-in would change to checkout, and then you finish. And then at billing time, the you or the manager can decide if you're billing per the contract, if you're billing at per time. You have the flexibility uh, choice on how to invoice, but at least you have what's the real time that was passed there. Uh, you can take pictures. Uh, let's say I want to take a picture of my phone, um, and then the system's going to attach the picture into the, um, but it won't because it's a demo system. I can see the service history, everything that has been done over the last, well, since it was created. So everything is in there, available, service history, address, what is the product that we're trying to fix. We can take a scan of the, uh, the, the, um, the code bar, and the system will actually find and can create a ticket for that specific item. If you have multiple items to go and fix while you scan, the system's gonna tell you right now, this is the item you're fixing, serial number, and things like that. Other options available is that uh, you can view the sales order, the resolution, okay? You can write what was your resolution on this. You can view the service contract, what is part of it, and, uh, Sorry, and um, actually, uh, more information, sorry, here. And you can view any attachment that we put into the system. So you can take a picture or you can choose a picture. Um, and once you're done, you click next at the top and you can apply this on a sales order. And all with that, you revise the, the, the billing and you say, okay, this is the work we've done. This is how much we're gonna invoice you uh, for replacing some of the parts on this ticket. And then I would actually say, okay, please go and sign Mr. Customer. Thank you, this ticket will be closed, yes. And that's it. So this is a very, very simple way to actually uh, track your tickets that are sent to you. Uh, you can view all tickets open, close, different priorities, um, and then you can also view some KPIs uh, if you'd like to see uh, where you visited the most often, things like that. Um, other available options are for you to work offline, okay? So you're able to work offline and you're able to see all the UDF fields that you create in SAP Business One, they're available in this app. So that really 
makes the whole round turn of all the SAP mobility, uh, really functionalities for sales, functionality for service. If you need more functionalities for mobility, you're looking for something more in terms of uh, delivery, you're looking for purchasing, you're looking for other things. We have another solution that we offer, but right now, this SAP are great functionalities, but it's limited to these part of your existing uh, business one. Is the, you have any question, you can write it in the chat or um, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. I have one, Carl. Uh, so the, yes. we just saw the three free apps. Uh, the one that's $743 for someone, let's say, that does not have a limited user, okay? Instead of going and buying yes. a limited user, and having access with the free app, uh, it's seven hundred and forty-three dollars. Uh, what's that one called? And I also want to know what the limitations are because it, I know that it doesn't really meet meet up with the standards of a real limited license. But uh, I just want you to elaborate on that if you could. So business one sales and business one service are the two apps that you can add users that are not part of your business one list of users by just purchasing a mobility license okay okay so and those two the, the service that the, so those two are the ones that are seven hundred and forty three dollars correct okay good and um, the limitations are just as what you saw um, you have smaller fields you don't have as much data over there uh, so it's much simpler sales order, things like that. So you don't have the complexity of being able to have configurators, things like that. Okay, perfect. Um, does anyone have any questions? There's no questions. Did you have anything else to add to that, Carl? No, thank you no. very much for attending okay. our presentation. You're I'll welcome. pass everything to you. Yep, you're welcome. I'm just going to show you guys, hang on a second here. Uh, I wanted to make myself a presenter. I just wanted to show my screen in case anybody needed uh, contacts. Voila. There you go. So if anybody wants to, if you have any questions, feel free. You can call the support. You can send an email to me or again, uh, I'll send you to Carl. If someone wants to purchase anything on one of these apps, just send it to me and I'll have Carl get a quote for you. And um Note on the side next week, no, sorry, not next week, in two weeks, our next webinar is going to be on May 10th. We're going to be covering UI templates and ways to organize your fields. So until then, thank you very much for coming. Thanks, Carl, and have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, bye.